Hello, all my friends. I'm Oleg Tatarov, the Russian Bear, out in fighting championship. Champion. Oh, and I'm two times world samba champion and four times jiu-jitsu European champion. We're gonna learn secret samba KGB technique. What samba is? Samba is the best style ever made in Russia for the last century. We're gonna learn incredible takedown. Chill. <laughs> Arm locks. And uh, of course, we're gonna learn leg locks. I'm sure you bought this tape especially because of you guys want to understand how to do leg locks. This is the only one tape you can buy right now in America to learn leg lock stuff. And I'm sure after watch this tape, you guys will be very successful. Before we start learning this technique, I want to tell you my opinion on martial arts. Free basics on martial arts. And uh, my friend Andre will assist me and uh, he'll get all punishment tonight. And I hope he will feel good tomorrow. So, what the first? First, you have to use all parts of your body, even little finger. Second, there is no free space between us. And the third, center of your weight have to be lower than center of his weight. So, you are close to the earth, you are stronger. And um, my words has been approved by animals many, many times. Look at dog. When he bites the neck, nobody can uh, uh, take a pit bull up from a neck. Nobody. He's very tight and he knows what he's doing. I want you guys to be like a pit bull. Okay, this is a hip throw. This is the basic of all martial arts. How we do it? The first step, your right leg going to his right leg. And uh, together with the left leg, you have to turn your hip to his body, very close. And you remember, center of your weight uh, lower than center of, of his weight. Your arms working together with your body, with your legs. What you do now? Now you unbend your legs, he will already feel like he wants to fall down. I turn my arm, and he's here. And then finally, you will be able to finish him by arm lock. Lovely. This is several different ways to do a hip lock. First, first time we did it with this hole. You can do with this hole. What you need to do, just this arm has to work more powerfully. So also we can do by this hole. Also we can do by this hole. Also you can do, you can grab the his gi or jacket, whatever, and do by this hole, right here. And another way to do same throw, like the first time we learned when I stepped right uh, leg first, now we go in different way. My left leg going first and right leg going second. This way is good too. Here we have very interesting move. We call it roll. I suggest to use it after punch or after a cross. Cross, jab, whatever he wants to do, what you do? You just grab his arm, and your another arm is going behind his back, or grab his uh, neck. So, your right leg going between his uh, legs and step here. So now, you just have to fall, fall on the floor, and uh, do like you do usually roll, like you want to just uh, play around. And uh, 
when you be on the bottom, your left leg has to push his body up. This is a way to push him uh, away from you, and uh, this is a way you can take him down. Right. And here we have perfect position to finish him. Yes. There are several different ways to do the same roll. The first way, when you go up to his neck, and after all, you will be able to finish him by choke. In another way, if you grab to this arm, you will be able to finish him by choke, but you're going to use another arm. Watch. Here we have perfect another technique. We call it full sweep. Everybody can use it. Even a little girl can defeat a big guy. And a big guy will not understand how this happened, how he fell down and maybe broke his face. So how to do this? The first thing you have to do face. You pull him on yourself. And he's doing step right now. Watch. And this step you have to keep it. And right now we have perfect position to finish him by ankle one. Here are a couple more different ways to do the same thing. The first one, if your opponent trying to use a jab, he fell fast and perfectly. The second one, I did on UFC number six against Mr. Uh, David uh, Benefit. So it's a little bit different. Right now, if before you use this part of your leg, right now you have to use this part. So the, basically, this is the same thing. Right now, we're going to learn very interesting move, very effective, and it looks good on TV. I have used it in my movie, Total Force. I killed the zombie by this move. So now we're going to learn how to do this. If your opponent attacked you, what you're going to do? You're going down and put your knee, right knee between his leg and the, your left knee have to stay up. Now, what you do? You just bring your body up a little bit, enough to bring him up. Right now, he lost control. Now, what you need to do, you just need to turn him, and he will fall down. Watch. So, right arm is going down, left arm is going up. And now, we will be able to finish him, whatever you like. He doesn't have arms right now to tap up, but it's okay. Right now, you know, one more way to do this move, but it's very good for a movie. It looks very good, and if you are an actor, you will impress your producer for sure, and you will get the best part in another movie. So let's learn. Looks the same, exactly the same, but I'm in standing position. So what I suggest to you, the first thing, not your back muscle has to work, your legs has to work. Your back has to be always straight. When you go down, your back still straight. It looks beautiful, and uh, you don't spend a lot of energy. And uh, in real fight, when you drop him from uh, this high, he can break a uh, spine, he can break whatever he has. I even don't want to try to do this. I want to save him for next month. The name of this gorgeous move is uh, scissors. So now we're going to learn it uh, step by step because it's very hard to learn it right away, all move together. I suggest you to learn it like that. You go on the ground and now watch. Your left leg has to kick his chest. Your right leg has to kick his feet or uh, knees behind. So the both way is good. Now, 
Get a gear up. And try. Now you can pick it up his lead and the finishing by ankle lock. The next move is real dangerous for your life. Let's do it. Yes. Left arm going under his head. Right over his head. And when it's going, it's turning it like this. This way. So we lock your our arms. And now the right elbow is going down. Ah. Stop, 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 stop. It's not a pain. Pain is going to be in a few seconds. Just wait. And. Uh, Left elbow going up. So together it works like this. Now you can scream like you want. Ah! So, yeah. Next shock, we can do only if we have a partner with the gi on or with the jacket. First, your left arm has to grab him right here, and uh, right is going a little bit high, right here. And now, don't worry about just a fall down, but not only fall, you have to rotate all your body. So it's going to look like, like that. Next move is chill, but uh, it's a pretty special move right now because of I have penis on, so we can do it only if we have something to grab on your leg. Watch how it's going to do this. This leg going over, and this arm, right arm and right legs. We're using only right arm and right legs. This arm and this leg just to control his body and his another arm. So we have to grab all your own pants. And right now, your elbow turn it this way, and uh, we squeeze it together. Ah! Right now we have a perfect move, but uh, one bad thing, we can use it only if we have a better <laughs> Pay attention to this hold. Left hand below this right hand. So I will pull him this way. And now my elbow is going over his head. And I'm falling down right under him. Here we have a perfect choke. Very tight. Tight enough. Choke him out. Right, next is choke. How we can get it? This knee has to work like arrow. Has to go through his body and uh, be right here. For this, we're gonna push, not the really push, we're gonna pull him. We're gonna pull him here and uh, now watch. So right now we have this leg here, and this leg is go over. We go across, you know. We I'm have sorry it. that I'm sweating, but it's a good workout with the best. I went all over the world. I'm Gene LaBelle, chairman of the board of Gene LaBelle's World 
Grappling Federation. I wanted to get the very best in my Federation, and I have got the Russian bear, Oleg. Oleg, I want to thank you. I have learned so much. I won't tell them where I had to go to get you, because as you know, I went to many different countries, too many to mention. But I've got you. You're here. You belong to the world. Now let's go and have some good Russian vodka. Yeah, and thank you, Alyssa. All right, now the most interesting parts of arm locks, fly number. Everybody wants to know how to do this. Everybody from a fighter to the actor. Because it looks good on TV and it works. It really works in real life and real fight. So once I did it by, um, in a samba uh, competition, I was really, real sick. I was really, real tired. And I had no power to finish, to finish him, to bring him down and I continue work. I just jump and I just finish him by arm lock. It was good. So everybody can do it. Let's go forward. Let's start the learning this. So the first thing, you have to jump as high as you can. And uh, your right leg has to be on his chest right here. And uh, left leg has to go over his head and uh, be right here. So we have same arm lock like you already know, like you already learned probably but we have it in an area. So that's not a big difference for us, right? So I will try to do very slow and I will ask Andre to hold uh, 220 pounds in the area, if you can. We can do it, come on, let's do it, let's do it. You see right now, this leg is going over and my head's going between his leg and I'm still control his arm. And now my legs bring him down and we have typical arm lock. Let's finish. Bye -bye. We're gonna learn double arm locks. Watch. Your legs is going over his head and across right here. And right now what we need to do, we need to keep his uh, arms on your chest. And when you lock your legs, Squeeze it together and at uh, the same time try to pull uh, arms in a, a positive size, like this. So uh, this works very well. You see how simple is it? Uh, your partner expects from you to do something difficult, something with the turn your body or uh, just a regular move like we already saw on TV on the UFC championships, but that nobody saw this, I'm sure. Watch how fast is it. Uh, ah. Yeah, that's it. Let's do it. Here we have a basic arm lock. But what I, I will show you is not the basic. I'm sure not many people saw that before. So let's start to repeat the basic. You already know. First position, make it tight. Wait to your man. Come on. Yes. And, uh, most important to control his body in the same way. So your legs has to go like this, lock, and you have to squeeze it like this, very tight. So for a real fight, I want you guys to practice just to control his body in the same position, just by your own legs. If you can do it like for a couple of three minutes, means uh, you are in good shape, and uh, we will uh, be able to start learn something else. So, let's think you guys strong enough, and we will start to learn something else. Okay, one more thing. This elbow will go under my ribs, like that. So, that's not going to move. It's going to be very tight. And right now, I'm just pulling it like this. And it's very easy right, for me to unlock it. Much easier than uh, if I'm pull it like just in the usual way. Okay, let's repeat again. 
This is the end of your ribs, and this is his elbow. Pull his elbow like this. And now it's going in basic way. You're not gonna spend much energy. Okay, in other way, to do it's a kind of fake. Let's make him feel think then uh, I'm gonna do arm lock for uh, this arm. I will bring it very tight and I will try to break it. But it's pretty hard. And when I see he already not he has not strong hold, this is time for me to go. Okay. Number four, when you when we use a leverage. I will put my uh, hand on my leg. So right now I will show you how it looks like. Exactly like this. Not like that. Not like this. Like that. Yeah. So. And move your body to his legs. You see how easy it to do right now? Try again. Hold it very strong. I don't use much energy. I just uh, trying to bring his arms over my left. Oh. You see? Big difference right now. And I can finish him. Another way, if you let him to go and uh, grab to his left, right here. It's a uh, fake. He thinks he really, uh, I really uh, let him go, but it's not uh, real. So. Now he's trying to get up, and this is the moment for me to use my another leg. I'm doing kind of neck lock. And uh, here we have the same arm lock again. I think it was a pretty new for you. Uh, in other way, we can do arm lock and uh, make it uh, together with the choke. Not really choke, let's call it uh, neck lock. So right now my uh, leg is bringing his head up and he hasn't feel good right now. Oh. Do you? No. Yeah. And uh, so this is the time for you to start. He doesn't know what he wants to defeat. He feels pretty, comf uh, pretty uncomfortable here. He doesn't feel comfortable here. So we have best advantage to finish. All right. Another way, remember I told you use uh, all parts of your body, so let's use uh, your own weight. What's going to be if I sit on his chest? Uh, Feels not so good, right? Right. So I will put my uh, arm here, keep a balance, so he's not going to uh, bring me inside. Just I will stay here because of it's comfortable. So what we have right now? Right now we have all my weight works against him. I can do a kind of jump like this. Especially if I hear how he breathes. When he breathes out, I have to push. He breathes out, I push. Breathe out, I push. Nobody can, uh, can go through this. So right now we're using back muscles. And your left uh, leg, and his head on this side again. Very painful. So I'm glad, guys, you're uh, familiar now with the new arm lock uh, stuff. All right, let's continue learn arm lock. Right now we have very interesting move, but it's not uh, unusual move for you, because we already saw that. But I did a same move, but with left. So right now we will uh, do it down. That's only difference. So let's uh, see how it's going to be. First, I pull his shoulder down, and my knee is going be, uh, between and uh, under his uh, arm. So right now I, I got, it. I got it. I have his arm. Now I need to finish him. It's very hard to do something like that. So I'd like, I'd like to have both my uh, hands free for something, for choke or for, for another uh, arm lock. So I will use only legs. Watch. 
I'm going to use these parts of my leg, like we already used my hip to do a uh, knee block. And these parts of my foot is going to bring his arm up. Watch how it's going to look like. Ah, this is. That's it. Very simple. Watch. This part going down. This is going up. <laughs> yes. That's it. We're already finishing. We don't need to do anything else. Right now, if uh, you want to impress somebody, you can finish him right here. Do some another type of arm locks, or you can choke him out, or uh, do same. So we can do three different submissions in the same time. I think it's good. All right. If you understood how to do this, of course you can do another way, same move. We will start from uh, uh, that side. Let's move fast. So we already got his arm. Or we got from here, doesn't matter. Again, this leg here, this leg's going over and my feet again lift his arms up. Ah. Yes. This part pushing down, this is going ah. up. And I'm still keeping his body right here. So I think it's pretty simple. Something new for arm locks. You remember? We have to use all parts of our body. So why we cannot use the knee in this position? Weird? No, not weird. Watch how we can do it. When I kick his uh, elbow, I bring his elbow up. So my arm is going over, over his arm. And I grab my own arm. And right now we have perfect lock. Right now, I'm just pushing him down, and uh, this is going up. And uh, we can finish him right here. <coughs> we don't have to even bring him down. So watch again how it works. Now I do just the fast. <coughs> oh, not bad. All right, next move, I call honeymoon. Actually, that's a shoulder lock, but uh, why honeymoon? Because uh, some wife can do it for a husband if she thinks he, he cheated her. So let's do like this. His uh, right arm right behind mine. And I'm falling down, my leg going over his leg, and we are look like a husband and a wife. So right now, I will bring my hip up and I will push his, his uh, elbow down and I will control his neck shoulder and together it works like this, it works very painful. So any wife can do it for her. Okay, now we're going to learn the most interesting move I'm sure everybody has been uh, waiting for. I call it leg block, uh, knee block, but uh, it's not really knee block. It's uh, something uh, together with roll. So you guys uh, can choose how you're going to call it, but it's very interesting. First, your left leg is going between his leg, and it's going very far and you had follow your own left and you do roll so here we have his leg and we will be able to finish him what you need to do to finish him you need to squeeze your own leg like this it's already painful and you have to pull all leg and right now I'm be able to break it. 
So you, of course, will be able to break it too. So let's, let's just try to learn. Now I will show you why the best way to start to learn this move is right from here. Watch. What we have? We have same thing like, like we already had. So, return to same position, please, Andrei. This is position we have after I fall down. Watch. My leg between his legs, and uh, I'm between his legs also. So, what should I do right now? I'm kicking him. Right now, and uh, he fell down. And now, like I already told you, we squeeze your own legs and pull his leg. And he will tap out. Okay, right now, guys, please pay attention. Everybody saw this move, but not everybody knows how to do it right. We're going to learn it on steps. One, two, three. So the one is bring it up very tight. Two, squeeze your elbow. And a three to turn bone like I do. This part has to be exactly right here. This is the pain. So when we do it together, one, two, three, you don't have to forget to squeeze your uh, knee, make keep his knee uh, in the uh, same position, and uh, bring your body down. Ah! This is the way to make him tap out. He feels hello it hurts. And uh, now I will show you several different ways uh, how you, you can uh, use it, how you can do it. Very effective. The first way, when you already grabbed his ankle, you use your leg. You remember I told you, use all parts of your body. And uh, push his leg over his another leg, like this and push it away from you. You see, right now he cannot reach you, he cannot uh, try to kick you, but uh, I'm keeping his leg straight and very tight. This is the key for this move. This is when you can be able, I will be able to break it. Yes, this is the hurt. This is the one way. Second way, if you put your leg between his leg like this, and don't, don't uh, put it right here, put it, keep it right here between his legs. Why? Because when you control another leg, he's not going to be able uh, to get up. Try. Yes. My knee will always push him, push him back. And I have uh, plenty of time to take care of this business. So right now I will do slow and we'll just finish. This is exactly the best way to do this. Next move we call a heel hook. That's a very dangerous move. That's why it's illegal on many types of competitions. It's legal in uh, military combat samba, but uh, illegal in uh, sport samba. This is the way how to do it. When you have his leg right here, you pull your arm behind his heel and uh, grab your own hands like that. So, you see, his foot is very tight right here. And now I'm bringing his foot up and uh, turning it like that. At the same time, I'm pushing his body away and I'm still squeezing his leg, make it tight, make it uh, keep in the same position. Yes. He feels pain in the knee, he feels pain right here, so he doesn't really know where he feels pain. He just uh, wants to tap out. That's, uh, you can do it, guys, I believe. It. Next move is uh, really my special. Not everybody in the uh, former Soviet Union could do this. It was my specialty. So this is uh, exactly an uh, ankle lock. But it's a different way you have to use. You have to use only your legs and nothing else. 
What you have to do, you put his foot right here, right in the middle, this place, and we also can uh, put line right here. So that's not so far like that, not so close like that, so exactly in the middle. And now that leg is going over. Over like this, and we have luck here. And uh, before we will start learning this part, pay attention what I'm doing here. My elbow, control his knee, keep it in the same position. Same time, my hands protect my neck uh, from the choke. But I don't think so many people will be able to choke me right now because of I will be faster. I already got from here. And I suggest you also to control another leg. Maybe by your own elbow, but uh, this is the way to keep him in this position. So let's come back here. First, what I suggest you, this is, looks like a scissor. This leg will bring it up, this leg is going down. It's already painful, but it's not the same uh, move. It's a kind of a fake, kind of surprise for him. He already feels pain. And now, this is the surprise. My legs is going down that way, and uh, I, I bring my hip up. And uh, same time, elbow pushing his uh, knee down, like this. So, let me see how it works together. We're trying to bring our body, make our body straight. Yes. I'll be able to finish him, not only finish, I'll be able uh, to break his ankle right now because of I have that much distance I can use. So in a couple of seconds he would to find his foot right there. The next move we call tofu. It's a still very dangerous move. Watch. You have to grab his foot right here, not the close to his uh, heel, exactly right in the middle. So your arm is going between his leg and grab your own arm right here. He already feels pain. He already doesn't want to continue, do you? No. Yes. And uh, right now you just turn it like that and uh, still you have to push his body away from you and uh, keep it tight. Ah, yes, that's it. Another way when you can start to do this when you are between his legs. So you are grab it the same way and turn it the same way too. But this part of your body has to control his knee, keep it in the same position. He's not going to be able to choke you because of there is no way. He doesn't control your body. He's so far. You see? How big distance between us. So let's guys do it. Next move probably will call a knee block by your own legs. That's pretty weird, but uh, that's a very effective move, and I'm sure not many people saw it before. So what you do, if somebody trying to kick you, and you grab his leg, you just uh, pull it right here, so you can control it by your own hand, by your own head, and also uh, by your own, own shoulder, so it's tight right now. So right now, this leg is going over, like that, right on his knee, and your another leg going over like this. So what you need right now, just to bring your uh, body up like this. This is the way. I'm not trying to hurt him because of, uh, I can't control right now pain. Especially if we use a different way. If we pull uh, his leg like this, this is much more painful. In another way, you can do it like this. And also, I can suggest, suggest you do the same thing by your own hands. Sometimes uh, when people got to this position, they don't know what to do. And especially some people like to do something very effective, very original. So I will suggest you to do the special new block and uh, do it uh, by your own legs. It's weird, but we will try. So, put your feet right here, and your feet is going to try to bring his foot up. And you're going to cross your feet, and this is the way 
you're going to use your feet. Now, watch. I will use these parts of my hips. I will put it right here. Make it tight. Make it, keep it in the same position. So right now, we have a move. Looks like an arm lock. Like we already, uh, everybody knows, actually, that, my, uh, that move. But not know, uh, many people know that move. But it's a similar. Watch how it works. Nobody expect this. So, one way we already saw. Another way, if I am on the bottom and here on the top, this go on the top. And uh, what we have right here, we have exactly the same position, but we are on the bottom. That's only difference. So, cross your arms right, right here. You are using the same place of your hip and your legs working the same way just uh, different directions watch what we have finally ah. I think it's perfect the next move is very interesting also and we call it squeeze leg lock so type of this move is uh, we have something very similar all the time something has to be always right here. It doesn't matter what it's arm or uh, some part of my legs. So let's try the first way. The first way, if we put to your leg like this, and right now I'm gonna fall on uh, his uh, body, but I will keep his uh, foot right here on my body. So watch what's gonna happen. Ah. See the distance? If I make the distance close, this leg will be apart, separate. The next move we call squeeze leg locks. It's a very interesting move. And uh, there, is, there are so many different ways to do this. The first way, we have his leg right here. And uh, our leg is going all the way right here. And it's going right on the middle of his leg and keep his foot on your chest and now what you need to do is just bring your body close to his body and what we're gonna have we will here right now ah. yes we're here ah. that's nice so this was one way another way if uh, you are sitting on uh, his body like this so my back to his back and right now we can use your own arms and uh, same time like you're gonna squeeze uh, his leg you can do also a typical ankle lock so let's try ah! very effective I'm sure let's see another way of this move please turn and uh, right now we don't know what to do with this leg because we need to bring it up and uh, after that we can try to ankle ups or something like this. Why? We don't need to spend too much energy. What we can do, we can lock on your, oh, your own legs right here and put your arm, again, this part, between, right here. And lock it like I already taught you. And bring it a little bit up. Same time. When you bring it up, you have to squeeze your legs. Yeah. I didn't start to do it, but he already feel a lot of pain. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So this is also a very dangerous move. Let's learn it.
Thank you all my friends for joining me today. Thank you for watching this tape. I hope you will find this tape very useful for you. And now, goodbye everybody. Till next time. Okay, now beautiful young Swedish princess is gonna show technique I taught her five minutes ago. Come on. Very impressive.